Hi, I'm Dave Weiss from AmokArts.com with the video blog of the day. I love to do arts ministry workshops. I love to go to churches and teach people and show people how they can use their creative gifts to serve God. But there is one thing about it that always, always, always disturbs me. It's one thing that I have to spend so much time working on, and it drives me crazy. You know what I have to spend so much time working on? Telling people they can do art. Telling people they are creative, that they have abilities to be creative, and all these other things. I have to spend time basically giving people permission to do what God has created them to do. It's frustrating. But you know why it happens? It happens because we hear all these little voices in our heads all the time saying, you're not good enough, you can't do it, you, you have no ability, you don't have talent, all that other stuff. Can I tell you something? That's a lie. Now, I'm not here today to tell you that you're going to be a professional artist. I'm not here today to tell you you're going to sell paintings and make a lot of money. I'm not here to tell you any of that. What I am here today to tell you is if God has laid on your heart to do something, you can do it. If he has told, given you a picture, given you an image, and it's on your heart to get it down on paper, don't worry about what critics will say. Don't worry about what naysayers will say. Don't worry about any of that. Just be obedient to God and put it down on paper. It may be, or a canvas or whatever, it may be nothing other than just God letting you get something out. Or it might be a wonderful idea. It might be something that'll touch somebody's heart or bless them. But you can do it if God wants you to do it. So just do it. Don't be afraid. Stop being afraid of what other people are going to say. Just take it on and do what you feel led to do. That doesn't just apply to art, by the way. It applies to anything. Because let's face it, we all hear those voices about one thing or another. We all hear those voices that say, you can't do it, you're not enough, and all this other stuff. Well, you know what? Here it is. I'll give, you, I'll give this to you free. You're not enough. You are not enough, and that's okay, because God is enough. The Apostle Paul, in Philippians 4.13, he wrote, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. That's the key. God, if God wants you to do it, you can do it. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It doesn't mean it's going to work out right away all the time. It doesn't mean you're going to make a lot of money off of it. But if God wants you to do something, you can do it because he will do it through you. I kind of know this one from experience this morning. Uh, I've been told recently that my job that supports most of these ministries is pretty soon, not to mention my family, by the way, uh, is pretty soon possibly going to go to half time, And that makes me nervous. There's some trepidation there. There's some fear there. But, you know, on the other side of it, I also have this vision that God has given me, a vision to go throughout the church and into the world and use art to show people the love of Jesus Christ, and not just to do that, but also to go into churches and help creative people to realize that there are things that they can do with their gifts to serve the Lord. And by the way, that doesn't just mean artists. It means anyone who God has gifted. I really believe that this is a major part of the calling on my life. And so on one hand, there's fear. On the other hand, there's adventure. But along with that adventure is this little voice going through my head telling me, you can't do it, you're not enough. Well, you know what? I'm not enough either, but my God is enough. And if he's calling, he will make a way. And by the way, because the Bible also says you have not because you ask not. If you feel like your church or your community group or your conference or whatever could benefit from the things that I have to offer, my art and these messages that I share, I would really love to come. So please contact me at amuckarts at AOL.com and I'd love to come there. But this is what I want you to leave with. If God is calling you to do it, you can do it. Don't let anyone tell you any different. God will make a way. I heard a speaker say it once. The other name for God is Yahweh. And his statement is this. When there is no, no way, when everyone else is saying no way, you say Yahweh. Trust God and do what he's calling you to do. Make sure it doesn't involve sin because if it involves sin, it's not God. 
Otherwise, if it's sinless and sin-free, go for it. Do what God is calling you to do. You can do it. God bless you.